Hello and welcome to Prime Pro Video Demo. Today we're going to be covering bookings and how to take you through the booking process in Prime Pro. So in order to take a booking, first you have to open a client record. So to find a client, let's type in the name here. So Aldi here. And then we come down to the bookings area here. But first you would have needed to have created your templates. So under booking templates, you would create your new booking templates for all of your typical repeat bookings. I've covered this area in the previous video under clients. So if we come back to our client record and look at the bookings tab, this is where obviously you can add your bookings by clicking new booking. At the moment, I don't have any unfilled jobs, which is great. That will be red. Amber is those that I've actually tried to communicate with to send job invites to, so I'm working on filling it. And green is field confirmed. Black also is another option which um, is cancelled. Now you can actually define your own colours uh, in addition to the colours that we've defined here, where you could have different reasons for things, so like such as fail to arrive or maybe sickness, holidays, that sort of thing. So each of those can have its own colour association. And you can toggle that on the actual weekly planner, which we'll come on to soon. So um, before we actually uh, create a booking, we need to look at the booking templates. Booking templates are a way to rapidly speed up the process of you being able to fill a booking uh, with minimal input each time. Uh, excellent for repeat bookings. So to create your booking template, or let's look at one I've already done. So let's edit the warehouse op days. So here I've typed in these details. I've selected obviously the category industrial. I've selected the skills appropriate, the labor grade, which is my job. So this one's days, hence warehouse op days template. The business unit here, um, you can change this every time you do a new booking, by the way. So certain things you can change when you use this particular template moving forward. Who's the contact of the clients? That's set as Carl, um, the description of work, split rate template I'm using is days. So I've only got two that I've set up against this client, days and nights, if you remember. This is outside IR35. This is this thing to do with whether or not you're um, a non-PAYE worker working in the public sector. So that's what really this is to do with. So um, mostly for sort of driving industrial construction, catering and those sorts of uh, industries, it's mostly going to be outside I-35. If you're dealing with healthcare, then or, or those types of sectors that do deal with public sector more, then indeed this might be an issue if that particular worker was limited company or umbrella, but in that instance they couldn't be because they had to be uh, inside I-35, which means you need to payroll them as PAYE. Anyway, moving on from that. So here I painted on the start and finish times with, you'll notice an hour break. It's really easy to paint on. So left click, drag right, left click, click, drag left, will remove. So it's really easy to add and remove. Each block in this hour is 15 minutes, as you can see here, where you can single click on or off. So in this instance, I've said the typical quantity for this template is two required for each day of the week. Uh, my week in the system, by the way, starts as Monday. Yours might be Sunday, so that, that would obviously change according to the system setup for your agency. Um, so I've already created my template here. So Aldi on the phone. Let's just search for Aldi. And we go to bookings this time, new booking. Select my template, warehouse up days. It's preloaded everything here. Look, I don't need to touch anything apart from maybe the shift start date. Say it's going to be Monday to Tuesday. Okay, so I'm only going to use um, these two lines here of my template where I can adjust it if I wanted to, but I'm going to keep it as is for now. Two required. Save. That's done. I could have, by the way, changed the quantity for each day. Uh, there was a box there for me to edit the quantity. Anyway, um, as you can see here, uh, red, which is the uh, colour denoting unfilled. Let's just duplicate this tab, really smart feature of Chrome here. And we're going to use this second tab to look at our bookings plan. Search. So as you can see two required for the six till six shift, Monday and Tuesday. 
Brilliant. So you can either click here on the reference number to access that booking to fill it, or you can just close that down. From the plan, you can click here. So let's do it from the plan, actually. Why not? So this opens another tab. So we've still got the booking tab open here. And on this tab, we're into the booking. So we can see it's a warehouse art, Northampton store, merchandise in the shop floor, 1st to the 2nd of July. There it is. And here are the uh, um, start and finish times to require. Brilliant. Recommend candidates. It's automatically loaded all my recommended candidates. These are people that are fulfilling the criteria for several things. Number one, their rights to work. Um, if their rights to work were out of date, they would not appear. No matter what job I had, they just simply wouldn't appear. We can produce, by the way, for those that have failed compliance report under reporting here. Um, compliance report, we will come on to that later. But anyway, um, so yeah, it's only showing me people that are good to go. So their rights to work. If they had any qualifications associated with their skill, not in this case, but if, for example, I did a driving job, then of course it would require me to have the relevant bits and pieces in date attached for that particular um, qualification for that skill. But anyway, so um, you can also filter by consultant rating as well, which is really cool, which is part of the feedback. You can check the availability, click in there, we'll open their ca um, calendar. You can show a map, which will launch Google Maps, show where they're located in correspondence to the job. So there's various things you can do. You can highlight everybody and send them all an invite via text uh, or email according to their preference. Or you can simply select the people you want like this. So I've selected, uh, let's say, two people here. Send invitations. Now, you notice you've got the contact number here. So I'm going to be sending a, a text message to, that's mine there, my number. So send invitations. So immediately you'll notice those two people have disappeared from this recommended list. That's because they're in, on the invitations tab for Leo and Marcus to work those two shifts there. But we're waiting for, the, for, for their response. So if I were to phone Marcus already, I can then just simply, yeah, I'm up for doing the job. Let's use Marcus. Before I do that, let's just look at the booking plan and refresh that page. You can see it's now turned amber, which is the in-between stage uh, from red, which is great. I'm working on it. I'm trying to fill it. I've sent invites out. So let's use Marcus. We're going to confirm and create timesheets for Marcus. So that's confirm Marcus. So again, back to the booking plan, reload. Marcus's line is shown here. We've still got one line left, obviously waiting for um, this other one to be filled, which is fantastic. So now this has actually uh, come through to my phone. As you can see, there's a text reply. Um, and I'm going to reply yes. OK, send. Uh, Marcus's shifts have already been confirmed via email. So we can see that uh, your shifts are being confirmed there. So if I go back into that booking. Now you'll see that Leo, a.k.a. me, who's just responded via text, is now showing is available. That's because I responded yes. If I responded no to the message, then this will show as unavailable. Um, so you can obviously filter your list for those that are available only and then select those. So let's select him. Done. Another text will go out and obviously confirm Leo in a second. You'll see that pop up on my screen there any second. So back to the weekly plan. We can now reload that and see that both those bookings have been filled. Fantastic. OK. Now, next job is uh, typically in an agency, things change on a daily basis, hourly basis. So we might want to rebook these, extend them, cancel them, change them, whatever. And you can do that all from this plan. You'll be pleased to know. Let's go ahead and do that. So if I want to extend the booking, I can do it one at a time or for everyone on the shift. So let's just do that. So if I click on the booking reference, click book back, it opens up the painter. It's already added Marcus and Leo as my options. And I'm going to say, yeah, for the Wednesday, we now want three. So we're increasing it. We're going to put the same times. You can change the times if you want to. Switch off the communication if I want to. Now, I'm going to straight away create timesheets and confirmations. I could send invitations to go through the invitation 
the two-stage process, but then I would have to confirm them um, onto the booking after sending the invitations. So that's how that workflow would go. But this time, I'm just literally going to create timesheets. Go back to my weekly view. Oh, it's taken me to recommended candidates because it knows that for the Wednesday, it's requiring three. So if you look at my booking plan, you'll notice that it's extended Marcus and Leo automatically, but I've got that third one to um, to fill. So obviously here on my booking, I can then choose maybe Sue. She's going to do it. Send invitations. Uh, and then come here and obviously look at the ones that are waiting. So search for that. And I'm just literally going to use Sue for that Wednesday. Brilliant. Back to my booking plan. Really quick and easy. It's now done it. Um, it could happen again. So Wednesday, your client rings up, actually uh, book back again. So for Thursday, they want three again. So it's same again for Thursday. We're just extending it or it could be less, could be more. Um, and then just go ahead and confirm it. Done. So go back to my weekly booking plan. You'll see that it's extended those three again. So look how easy that is. Really, really quick and easy. You can do it on an individual basis. So you use the book back button here. So it's just literally selecting Marcus where you can just literally add him in for another day as and when you need to. OK. So that's a single option. Going to the to the actual booking itself, click the book back button, does the bulk option. So ideal for multi shift bookings such as, you know, um, industrial um, situations. Now, what you'll notice is that all of these bookings I clicked, um, not only confirm the booking group, but create timesheets. So let's look at the timesheets. We've got a whole stack of timesheets here now. And these timesheets will have all the hours in, which is brilliant. Some of these hours have automatically triggered some overtime already because it's exceeded the quantity of hours for that particular job. Now, if something happened where, for example, um, Marcus, um, he didn't show up on the Monday. So if we go back to the booking plan, how are we going to edit it here? So we click on the cell here. And you can either cancel candidate or cancel shift. Cancel candidate will create another booking slot for you to fill with someone else, which is really useful if, for example, he failed to arrive or he rung up and said, I'm not going to make it really sorry, uh, car broke down or, or whatever. Cancel the shift is really an, a secondary option where you could use if the client doesn't want them, for example, uh, anymore, um, don't need them. So you're going to cancel it. They get sent a cancellation text or email. But if I use either of these options, so let's use cancel candidate, actually. I can choose a reason. Some of these reasons can be defined. So if I had failed to arrive or whatever, I'm just going to use that one. Put my note in there. Um, car broke down. Click save. And that's changed a different color according to that particular status. And it's given me an option to click in here and find someone else using recommended candidates. Let's use Eileen um, and let's just send invitations. Go to the invitations tab and then just uh, confirm a done. OK, so really, really quick. If we go back to uh, my bookings for that period. That's now obviously filled with Eileen. So really cool. Uh, and if I go to my timesheets for this period, what you'll notice is that good old Marcus uh, the Monday hours have now disappeared because I've updated the plan. OK, so several things that you can do again from the plan. You can book back individually. You can book back bulk book back. You can change uh, what's going on by selecting in the cell, replace them, cancel them, uh, various options. You also have an overview which will take you into for that period. So this is on the bookings overview. So it shows you the quantities for each day. So you don't see the names in this list. So it condenses it. So it's a great view to see uh, if you've got lots and lots of bookings in this view. You have an option here to select and you can do an ad hoc SMS or email option. Same. Uh, and you can just quick send. OK, so it's great to communicate quickly uh, to all those people on that particular booking by using this ad hoc send option. So thank you for watching my demo today on bookings and be sure to like our video and please do remember to look at any other Prime Pro videos 
we have to show you how well this software can help your business. Thank you again for watching.